Billions of people around the world are searching for information about the Dry River, the Euphrates River in which the prophecies are fulfilled, signaling that life on Earth is threatened. The end of the world is approaching. These warnings are in the present as the ancient Euphrates River is drying up, revealing creepy sounds threatening people. In your opinion, what terrible mystery is behind these creepy sounds? And will God return to save us? Recently, creepy sounds appeared in series in the Euphrates River. There has been a video surfacing of an apparent local who was out walking the dried up riverbank. When he came across a crack in the bedrock and heard noises coming from it in the rock. It seemed like someone was screaming and groaning as they pulled the leash. This strange phenomenon also appeared when archaeologists found a giant hole in the river. It was so terrifying that archaeologists fled the river in panic. The groans signaled the fulfillment of divine prophecy and possibly the beginning of a time of earth terror. Screams of grief filled the entire river. The people lost sleep every night and they are gradually moving out of this dark place. Especially when archaeologists found ancient caves under the river. The place was described as a detention prison. The screams were even more terrifying. All the arguments of science were rejected and the prophecies were gradually fulfilled. Revelations 9, 13 through 15, And the six angels sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the altar, which is before God, saying to the six angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for the slave. The third part of mankind. This passage deals with the sixth trumpet and what is called the second woe. The three woes refer to Revelations 8, where an angel cries woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. The last three trumpets bring special woes to the inhabitants of the earth. The second of these woes deals with the loosing of four very specific angels. Notice several things about these four angels first. Their purpose is to slay the third part of mankind. Their loosing and sending forth an army of 200 million horsemen, referenced in Revelations 9, 16 through 18. It is difficult to determine whether these horses and riders are supernatural or marvels of modern technology. But it is clear that they are deadly and that they fulfill their purpose. Second, these angels are prepared for a very special time. They are to be released at the very year, month, day, and hour for which they are prepared. Third, they're bound until the time of the purpose for which they are ordained. Fourth, they're bound in the great river Euphrates. Most scholars conclude that these angels are certainly fallen. Their sole purpose is to kill. This power of death that describes them until they are released for their specific purpose. As some point out in reference to the other fallen angels, they have been delivered into the chains of darkness to be reserved unto Judgment Day. With that being said, the four angels bound in the Euphrates, most say they are certainly fallen. Why are they bound in the Euphrates is a bit of a mystery. A couple details about the Euphrates are significant. Especially in the conspiracy to destroy the word of man, the evil angels want to divide and cause people to destroy themselves. When the river dried up, a huge mountain of gold was revealed, causing people to destroy each other. They have been found in a massive oil deposit in gold underneath the river with limited video footage and reports of farmers and locals stating that they have found gold flowing down. What remains of the river along with oil, claiming a cover-up by the government and officials keeping the findings under wraps, along with that, there has apparently been a discovery of a massive gold deposit located in Turkey with reports of a rough estimation of being worth $7 billion. Although, like the Euphrates claims, it has also been kept quiet as well. Something strange about this discovery, however. However, it brings us to a writing in the Quran which states the hour will not occur until the Euphrates recedes, uncovering a mountain of gold over which people will fight. 99 out of every 100 will be killed, and every man among them will say, I might be the one who survives. Whether or not that be the case is up for debate. However, that being said, if there was indeed an oil reserve, a mountain of gold beneath our feet with the added tension of drought in neighboring countries, a discovery of such magnitude would certainly cause conflict, and perhaps even more. God is showing us that He flooded out and kept under. The other is an early warning for those who have not repented yet. 
This is another prophecy being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. I knew I was put here at this time in life for a reason, to keep bringing the truth. If you haven't already turned your life over to Jesus Christ, we don't have a lot of time. For brothers and sisters, and I really don't want to see souls get thrown into the burning lake of fire, God is our only truth. Most of everything else we've been told or learned our whole lives is false. They want us to fall into a life of sin, and we stay in this awful matrix. That's no way of living, people. Living is living for the Lord. I'm the happiest I've ever been now that I turned my life over to our Lord and Savior. And don't forget our King, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. For God loved His children so much that He gave the world His only begotten Son. God has sacrificed so much for us. At least we can repent, thank, and worship Him. Put nothing above God, and He will put nothing above you. God is the truth. Satan is confused, pain, and lies. Unfortunately, he walks to and fro on the earth. So stay vigilant and sober-minded and watch for signs in the sky, for the Lord and heavenly kingdom is at hand. God bless and God speed. As the Bible says, the sea will be agitated. It is the sea of humanity that is restless and agitated, living in fear and uncertainty in these last days. And many are on the wide road that leads to death and only a very few are on the narrow and cramped road that leads to life. These are the last days, and we don't know the hour or day when God will unleash His angels to bring an end to this world system and all those that support it. The Bible says people will still be carrying on their daily life as normal, and meanwhile, others won't be able to have money to pay for their daily needs. Unless you have God's name on your forehead, those angels will not show mercy. It is as everyone will have the name of Satan on their forehead because they don't need God or his appointed king, Jesus, as their savior. If you don't follow the appointed savior and king, Jesus Christ, you must be against him and his father. Who can stand against them? So choose your position and side wisely. There is none other than can save yourself and humanity but our savior, Jesus Christ. All knees will bend on earth as in heaven to him. Even the angels serve him and carry out his instruction. And Satan knows he doesn't have much time left on this earth. And he is going full out to destroy humanity and make sure that they follow him into death. As we pray, may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. Many people deny the Bible and call it just written random words or metaphor. But they believe in Greek mythology, divination and stone healings. However, there will be a day when they face God and Jesus, and everyone will be judged and acknowledge God and Jesus are real, the only true God and the only God to be worshiped. Scriptures say when the Euphrates River dries up, the end is at hand. This is a warning for those who have not repented yet. What's happening? Jesus is coming back. Please let me know your comments below. If you're interested in outer space and the world's mysteries, you can choose to watch the following videos on our channel. And be sure to leave a comment below to let us know what you think of today's content. Again, we thank you very much. We hope to see you again next time from all of us here. Until then, be careful and be safe.